Outriders is the newest title by People Can Fly and is due to release in December of this year, guys. And with that, I wanted to go ahead and talk about all of the things that we want in this game, guys, from a perspective of, you know, the the next title from People Can Fly, this looks like a spiritual successor to Gears of War, looks like it takes some kudos also to games like Destiny, and I wanted to talk about everything that we want, and when I say we, guys, I'm going to be giving you guys my opinions here, and some of those opinions you guys may agree with, some of them you may not agree with, I would love to know either way in the comment section down below what things you want to see in Outriders, so let's get into it. So, at this point in time, guys, Outriders, like I said, is is due to come out in December of this year. Obviously, with the pandemic and things of that nature still going on, I would wouldn't hold your breath. There's a possibility that it could get pushed back even further, uh, you know, into 2021. Uh, but hopefully, it does come out in 2020. The first thing that I'm really hoping to see, though, guys with this is I think that it's a it's about time that we really saw a game that was going to be somewhat of a spiritual successor to Gears of War because I think Gears of War had a lot of really great, um, has incredible elements to it as far as from, from a gameplay perspective. However, what I want to see from Outriders is I do want to see somewhat of a spiritual successor to other games, but I want it to have its own its own twist on, you know, this genre, and I think they're definitely going to do that. I love the concept of each of the characters in Outriders having abilities and such. People Can Fly obviously worked on Gears of War Judgment, and so they've been, you know, somewhat in, in tuned with, with the Gears of War franchise as a whole, and I think it's going to be great to see moving forward what they're able to do with an IP outside of Gears of War, uh, you know, even though they, they've done other titles, of course, but as far as a spiritually success, Successor goes to this. I'm really excited about that. I'm excited to see what they do from a gameplay perspective, but I love the idea of having each character is like, you know, has different, you know, levels of abilities and things of that nature. I think there could be something really special there. The next thing though that I want to see is outside of it being its own thing, even though I want it to obviously have, you know, certainly some things that are similar to other games. I want it to be somewhat different as well. I also want there to be guys this real emphasis on a full package here. I think it's really important that, and it sounds like People Can Fly are going to do this, but I think it's really important that there's an emphasis on, you know, more than just the story, more than just co-op, more than just multiplayer. There's just a, a level of having a full package when you get this game. This is a brand new IP coming out. I think it's really important that People Can Fly, as well as Square Enix, they go ahead and they, of course, have a full package, so it justifies a $60 price tag, and it keeps people coming back over and over again. From a multiplayer perspective, I love what I've seen so far from this game. I love from a campaign perspective, I think it's got some very interesting elements as well, and I think this could be something really special. One thing, though, that does concern me is the level of, you know, diversity of not only characters, but also of the environments. I want to see multiple different environments, guys. From what we've seen so far, doesn't seem like there's a ton of variety when it comes to that front. Uh, I'm not terribly concerned about it as of yet, but it's definitely something that we got to keep an eye on. But something I definitely want is a variety here of different multiplayer maps from a campaign perspective, having a number of you know, of course, different locations that we're exploring and such. I think that's going to be incredibly important as well. And I think, guys, that you know, when I when I look at some of the other games that have that have you know come out in this in this genre of a, of a shooter, a third person shooter, you know, a lot of them can be picked apart in in different ways. They can also be, of course, put on a pedestal in other areas. I want Outriders to of course like i was you know alluding to earlier to have its own twist on on the genre and i think that you know another thing that i think could be really important for outriders and the success of this game could be free to play elements now i'm not saying guys the whole game being free to play cuz that's just not going to happen however i would love to see people can fly do some free to play weekends or something like that where it brings more people in to play the game maybe not the campaign so to speak but definitely multiple multiplayer elements or co-op elements would be absolutely awesome. 
I think also, guys, I would love to see this world be a semi-open world similar to that of Gears 5, where you're able to explore and learn as much as you can about the world. Uh, the same can be said for, you know, having, like I said, variety in multiplayer maps and such as far as size and such. Having, you know, some larger maps, some smaller maps, um, I think are going to be really important when we, when we do get to this title and it comes out later this year. It's going to be important, guys, I feel, especially when you're talking about the very first game in potentially a long drawn out franchise that I'm sure people can fly want to make this, make this game in this series. I think it's important that you put these things in place that really draws a lot of people in and gets, you know, kind of builds a fan base from there, like a, a really strong following of people who are consistently playing the game for a long time to come. And with that, guys, uh, I think that it's really important. The, the only other side of this that concerned me a little bit was the characters. I just didn't, from looking at the characters and such and the character models, one thing I was concerned about was, you know, each of these characters and what they're they're going to bring to the table. None of the characters seemed as memorable as that of like, say, just for example, Gears of War with Marcus Phoenix, Kate Diaz, JD, Dell, all of these different characters that are in the Gears of War franchise. They don't seem as memorable. Uh, now, obviously, we're going to have to wait and see when the game comes out. But I really want to have a number of ways that we can connect with these different characters in the game and really understand each of them. So we do, you know, kind of jump on board with some of, with some of these different characters. And that leads me, guys, to the last thing that I think is really important with Outriders is having a number of levels of customization. And when I say that, guys, I mean like customizing your weapons, customizing your characters, the armors, things of that nature. Now, look. I've always said this, guys, I believe that having earnable items in-game is way more important than having things that you can just pay for. And I think that having monetization is something that has to pretty much happen in video games nowadays because of, you know, the price tag has stayed $60 for over the years, hasn't, you know, gone up with inflation, which is really nice that the games are still $60, but these companies need to make money. So obviously having monetization tactics in games makes sense, but at the same time, I want to see more earnable items than payable items in Outriders. That being things that you can earn within the game that you can show off in the leaderboards, uh, in the in-game lobbies, your rank, your emblems, titles, things of that nature, you can really see, and it gets other people to want to get those things as well. Well, and so having earnable items, guys, I believe really builds a following in a major way. And so with that, guys, those are the things that I want to see in Outriders. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys want to see in Outriders. And for more Outriders content and videos, stay here with Zero TV.